Well, hello there, it's Pete Thorne. Welcome to the studio. Hey, check it out. Latest pedal in Boss's 200 series. It's the IR200. Now, you heard this on all the guitar parts, the bass guitar, the acoustic guitar, the electric guitar, everything on that track at the beginning of the video. I tried to use it in a bunch of different ways because this thing does a whole bunch of different stuff. It's got built-in amp sims, okay? So eight different amplifier models. And that means, of course, it's got built-in cabinet simulation. But it's not just like cab sims. It's full-on high-res impulse response cabinet modeling. Comes loaded with a whole bunch of impulse responses from Boss and some from Celestion as well. You can even run two cabinet IRs together if you want. Here's cab A, here's cab B. Or you can just use one at a time. You can also hook it up via USB to your computer and load your own impulse responses, anything third party that you want, from Own Hammer or from Celestion or from York, all the great companies out there making impulse responses. Even acoustic guitar impulse responses. So that's what I used on the acoustic part on the track at the beginning of the video to give it more of that natural kind of mic'd up acoustic guitar sound. So more on that in just a bit, but I used it on acoustic using just an impulse response, no amplifier modeling or anything. It's also got built-in ambience. There's a reverb in there that's got hall sounds, room sounds. There's actually built-in EQ as well, two different EQs. That's separate from any of the amp model stuff. So either graphic or parametric. And I do believe, I didn't do this in this video, but I do believe you can use it as an audio interface as well, a USB audio interface so that you can record straight out of this right into your computer. So in summary, a whole bunch of different things. High res, IR, cab sims, amplifier modeling, it's a reverb, it's got EQ, even bass amp sims and bass cabinets. So in this video, I'm not gonna go through every single amp sim or anything like that, actually far from it. What I did try and do in this video is show you a bunch of the different ways you can utilize this thing. So for the first guitar part in that song at the beginning of the video, I plugged in my top hat amp back here, which is kind of like an AC30, and I loaded it down uh, through my Sur reactive load, and I took the unfiltered output of the Sur reactive load, ran that out straight into here, and I hosted a York impulse response of a uh, 112 cabinet open back with a Celestion Blue in it. And I love the sound I got. I mean, that amp sounds great. The Sur Reactive load is great. And the York Impulse responses are great. But long story short, it was just really easy to load that IR in here and dial up a great sound. So let's check out how that tone sounds. <laughs> Okay, so that's one way that you can utilize this box as a host for impulse responses that's not your computer. Uh, you know, maybe you want to uh, be able to load down an amplifier live and use your real physical tube amp head uh, through an impulse response, send that signal to front of house or something like that. Well, this is a great device uh, for helping out with that scenario. Okay, now for the second part in the song at the beginning of the video, I took that exact same preset and then I simply added an amp sim. Uh, of what they call the diamond amp actually uh, in here, which is their model of an AC30 style amp. So exact same impulse response, just dialed up an amp sim. And so now I've taken the amplifier out of the equation, taken the load box out of the equation. I'm running right into this out of my, uh, my pedal board. I put a compressor on my pedal board on in front. That's it. This is basically doing all the tone. Then I came out of here right into my recording interface. <laughs> So pretty cool. It's a slightly different sound, but I mean, the, the amp sim that's in here, the diamond amp sim, if you like the AC30 sound, man, it is really, really good, I think. It's a really, really nice amp model. Physical amp sounds great, too, but it's neat to know how close you can come, you know, using uh, a model within this box, and this is it. 
But I bet you'd like to know how the internal IRs sound in case you don't want to load your own IRs, because once again, that was a York impulse response of a Celestian Blue in a 112 cabinet. So for the third part in the song at the beginning of the video, I dialed up a little bit more gain on the Diamond Amp Sim. So the cab sim I used for this was called Diamond 212 57 L, so SM57 style mic. And I used this for the main lead guitar part in that song at the beginning of the video. So let's check out that tone. <laughs> So that sounded really cool too, I think. It was sort of like a darker sound, a little bit more mid-focused than the York uh, cab sim, but a great sound nonetheless, and it contrasted with the other two tones really nicely. So I also recorded the bass guitar with the IR200, plugged my bass right into it, and I was using the normal bass amp sim and a 215 cabinet mic'd with an 87, and this is just one of their internal cab sims that came with the unit. So let's check out the bass tone. Now for the acoustic guitar, this was fun because it's always neat to see how close you can get to kind of a mic'd up sound using just the traditional under saddle pickup in an acoustic. So my D28 has an LR Bags uh, Anthem system in it that's got an under saddle pickup as well as a mic. For this I switched off the microphone, just used the under saddle pickup. And uh, what I did was I bought some IRs actually from uh, a company called Worship Tutorials. They've got some really nice acoustic guitar impulse responses. So I bought them, downloaded them, and was easily able to load them into the IR200 and kind of augment the sound of my under saddle pickup in my D28 by adding a IR of a mic'd up D35. So I was able to really warm up the sound of my D28 and get much closer to kind of like a mic'd up sound uh, than I would have been with just the internal pickup system in the guitar. So now I want to play a little bit more for you through the IR200 and I also want to demonstrate some of the different cab sounds and I want to show you how easy it is to load impulse responses into this thing. Okay, here we go. So I'm about midway through recording the track at the beginning of the video as I'm filming this right now. And uh, I'm doing the, the third track that I recorded for the song. This one features the Diamond Amp Sim in the IR200. It also features the internal cab sim, the Diamond Cabinet, uh, with the uh, 57 style mic. Uh, and so that's the IR that I'm using there within the box. Um, I used a couple pedals here, but here's the sound with no pedals at all that I used to track this little part. <laughs> sounds really cool. I've got the Hall reverb on in here as well, a little bit, with the around one second reverb, something like that, maybe a little bit more. So something that I noticed within uh, the cab sim uh, parameters here, you've got this adjust feature. And because you can have two IRs active at the same time, um, you can do some really neat things. And I think that's what's happening when I turn up this adjust. I haven't looked in the manual yet, but when I turn this up, what's happening is I'm hearing a split between the left and right channel, and it gives you a really, really nice stereo image. Uh, so let me just show you what it sounds It's easier to just show you than uh, describe. <laughs> It's 
so that's pretty neat. You got this delay happening now between the left and right sides and this great big stereo sound. So, you know, the effect in in-ears or headphones or for recordings and stuff like that is a, is a really nice stereo image. Now, I didn't do that on the track at the beginning of the video. Um, I just left it mono because I had rhythm guitars in the left and right channel. But if I only had one guitar part going, a single guitar part, this might be really fun to use. So that's within the cab sim parameter, and it's just this, uh, this control called adjust. The longer you go, or like more clockwise you go with this control, um, the more it's going to split the two sides and you're going to get more of an obvious delay between them. <laughs> So this is the 212 Diamond uh, Dynamic 57L cab. Let's just switch it to, uh, this is a 421 slash S on the Diamond cab. I'm not a huge 421 fan in real life, and I don't generally like them in digital world either. <laughs> you can hear why. It's like a real kind of like, just the mid-range. I mean, I guess they work sometimes for some stuff. But anyways, here's a condenser 451. Kind of cool, all right. Here's another 451L. Okay, here's the condenser 67S on the 212 Diamond Cab. Okay, pretty cool. Now, I'm gonna go forward all the way to one of my IRs that I loaded in here, um, which is a York. Uh, it's gonna go, going to go all the way to the end here to the user bank. Uh, it's a York uh, 112 with a Celestian Blue in it. And I really like this cab sim, so I have no idea what this is going to sound like. The VX15 112 Blue uh, from York Audio. <laughs> That sounds pretty cool to me. Um, maybe a little edgy on the top, but I could always just back down the treble within the amp sim here, see what it sounds like. You know, and you can also use an EQ, like the parametric or the graphic, to get in there and fine-tune the sound um, and, uh, you know, shave off some top end, shave off some low end, whatever you want. But long story short, you've got the internal IRs, lots of them sound really good, but if you want a different flavor, you can totally load in some Celestians or York. I want to show you how easy it is to load IRs into the unit so that you can use them with your electric guitar, acoustic guitar, bass, or whatever. So in the first nine slots here, you can see in the app that I already transferred over some IRs. I actually used uh, this one in the song at the beginning of the video, this York Audio VX15-112 Alnico Blue. Uh, so what I want to do now is actually try loading up some acoustic guitar impulses. So let's try that. I haven't tracked the acoustic guitars in the song at the beginning of the video yet uh, as I'm uh, recording this. Uh, because I haven't even put the IRs in the unit. So you've already heard what it ended up sounding like, uh, but I'm gonna load up some acoustic guitar impulses right now from Worship Tutorials. So I simply click here, uh, sorry, let's do that one more time so you can see that really clearly. You click on this right here on an open slot, let's say user slot 10, and this opens up my IR folder here uh, where I keep all my impulse responses. I'm gonna go to these AC impulse responses here and let's go to 48K 500 millisecond. And um, PZ1 here from these worship tutorial uh, IRs, uh, that's piezo one, uh, which is like, you know, if you got piezo pickup on your guitar, let's take maybe the U67 and um, you can see there it's loading. And I'm, I'm going to maybe load up another one. Let's, let's just try and load a few different ones, these Piezo 1. Uh, let's say, oh, Sony C800. That's a nice microphone. And uh, quite different than the U67. Let's try a different one. Uh, let's let's go for the, uh, let's see here. C12 sounds great on acoustic guitar. Uh, maybe while I'm at it, I'll just load up a U47. Why not? Let's go for that. 
Okay, so I've loaded four impulse responses. Those are all available to me now in the IR200. Okay, well these acoustic guitar IRs sound really good to me. Um, this is with no impulse response. I got everything bypassed while well, the reverb's still on. Got a little bit of room reverb um, in the IR200, but the IR is bypassed. This is what it sounds like, just the pickup on the guitar. And turning on the impulse response, just got to hold this button for a sec. You can hear how much life it adds to the guitar, so it's pretty cool. Pretty nice, sounds really good. Thanks for watching my video on the IR200. I couldn't show you everything that this thing does, all the different amp models and all that, but what I wanted to do in this video, and hopefully I achieved the goal, was to show you a bunch of different ways you can use it. I should mention, it's got a stereo effects loop in there, mono, send, stereo, return, and you've got stereo output, so you can integrate this really easily with your stereo like reverb mod and delay pedals. You've got MIDI in and out there on these mini jacks. Aux in jack on the side there if you want to pump some tracks into it and listen to that through this headphone jack here and mix that in with uh, your guitar sound and headphones and there's even an expression pedal jack there if you want to control some of this stuff in this pedal via expression pedal it just does so much it's hard to cover all in one video you can check out more about the ir200 at the website in the link in the video description below thanks again for watching please hit subscribe if you haven't uh, click the little bell beside the subscribe you'll get an alert every time i put out a new video thanks to boss for making cool products this is really really useful i will see you real soon i'm pete thorne over and out